Holy... <laughs> what? Wait, he's not here. It looks like nobody's been here in ages. What the world? One person gets all this space. Just to, to sign papers all day? Now that's a nice view. I love the planet as well. That you can see. Yeah, I'm going to steal the broken snow globe. Wait, was that... Is this another murder investigation? Better take everything. But so far, we've been, you know, very good. We haven't killed anybody yet. Okay, let's get the console good. Oh, view. Okay. Oh. Good afternoon. Oh, hello. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm Hiya. here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Okay. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Oh. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. <laughs> but we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. <laughs> but I can assure you there's nothing to fear. Yeah, you're all gonna We've die. Got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. A we will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Fuck huh? you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Yeah, <laughs> no, what? Wrote this. While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem <laughs> of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Mm -hmm. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work right. of saving our colony. Maybe I should. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. Oh god, this guy. And someday, in the not too distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Uh -huh. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. What on earth is wrong with these people? That was all a story, wasn't it? It's not real. Oh no, it's real. I don't know about you, but I'm all for living fast and dying young. Uh, shipment status. Let's see. Uh, there's, there's a gel. Good thing we have so much. Yeah, I'll send the earth. Between three to nine months of your message complete transit. What's taking so long? Okay. Oh, the board decreased. I'm so sad. All right. I was scared that we weren't going to get the rest of the information, but it's good that we got that. But if he's planning on freezing again, then there's no there's no telling what they're going to do. They could just pretend for the rest of their life, right? That's the idea. Oh, wait a minute, if we go over here. Is there a door here? No, it's not openable. And that's locked. So yeah, we'll just get out of here, out of your hair, and just uh, leave. That's 150. We can't go through there. Um, okay, we'll go through this way. Here we go. Good job, everybody. We did amazing. But yeah, they're planning on freezing everybody again. And it's just going to have the same issue because they're not going to... We've already got people that are stuck, the smartest and brightest, right? So he's just trying to save himself and some other rich people. 
What's that? Oh, it's just ammo. Bye! Thank you, everybody! I've got to get back to work. Uh, doing the good things. And drinking. What's the company's logo? What's the company's logo? All oh, right, yeah. Spectrum Vodka. Uh, yes. I am totally an employee. And not somebody who... Quickly get him. <laughs> I was running out of things to say. Um, oh, goodness me. My hair's on males. Oh. Oh, we're here. So. Barricaded. Alright. A lovely place. Office clerk, office clerk. I think I'm gonna start taking my lunches out in the city. And that woman from downstairs is still busy. Oh. That scientist? The one who's been pounding the clerks? Ooh, gives me the Right, let's have a look at this. Um okay. Isaac's keep eating my purple berry lunches. I know that sprat tooth little snot as one is doing it. I've seen him crack crumbles on his limp lips and purple berry stains on the lap coat working next to him is seeing him pick remains of my lunch out of his teeth that makes me want to scream there I did it I screamed a little that felt good I'm going to sit in the kitchen and wait for him to do it again I'll catch him in the act then I'll come back and write up another entry I'm so livid okay that's fair how is that to the objective no what nothing <whistles> oh, <it's off. laughs> hello you all right you see any sprats loose up here definitely don't touch them that is so hilarious sorry i shouldn't talk not without signing a waiver oh that was hilarious like i went through a, a room and it was just like oh restricted area uh, hello. Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X36 level clearance. It's okay. I'm a doctor. Yeah, a doctor. I don't care if you're a brain surgeon. If you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Oh, okay. Worth a try. You'd be surprised how often that works. Yeah, I'm a doctor. I can like go I anywhere. Like I said, X36 clearance only beyond this point. Okay. What's this? I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. Oh, intimidate. Ugh. All right, we won't go that route then. Um, just go upstairs. I'm just curious to see if anybody. Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? Just That's making sure right. that we're you checking here everything. We some UDL officers took him into custody. Oh, law, what did they take him for? UDL's been questioning anybody. Oh, hello. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Hmm. You seem like a woman who knows about Sprat Mentor, but I can take this conversation elsewhere if you're busy. Do you know? Yeah. Oh. Oh. You know, mm -hmm. I always have time for Sprat mitochondria. Yeah. As well as charming men who can appreciate the finer points of cell biology. Oh, yeah, I can. How do you feel about emotosis? The car is the smoothing. Are we still talking about cell division? Oh, yeah. This is certainly a conversation worth continuing elsewhere. But I don't think I've seen you around, and I'm sure I've remembered you. I'm new. Yeah. In that case, I can get you into the lab. Consider it a favor you can repay later. Oh, thank you. Follow me. All right. That was easy. God, I spoke dirty to her. Speak dirty to me. Speak dirty to me. 
Speak to me. <laughs> Speak signs to me. <laughs> Speak signs to me. Hold, I need a favor. Think you could let my friend through just this once? After all, you still owe me. Fine. But I don't want to hear anything about the catch-up packet incident ever again. <laughs> and he's on his own if he runs into the guards downstairs. Yeah. You're the best, Holt. Thanks. <laughs> okay. We're good. Alright, auto save. I won't tell. Mm, anything interesting? Like, nah, not really. Hello, everybody. I'm a part of you. See? Oh, I could have snuck through here. Okay. Hmm. Let's call the elevator. Oh, is this meant to be? Nice image, no? It sounds close. See, so far, our persuasion has been very important getting in. And we've used our soothing science, talking, persuading, everything. Right. Oh. Oh God! Um, uh, can I? What's this I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample four one five seven? That batch failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the techs run the trial again, and the results were zero point zero zero three percent different this time. Oh. Did the words statistically insignificant mean anything to you? Yeah, I know what. <laughs> Gotta be careful where I'm going in this place. We're in the belly of the beast. We need the ID, the board. So we just need to find like an ID or something. Just gotta be keeping an eye out for guards. <laughs> Let the record show that subject 23K's cause of death is cerebral vascular incident brought about by a ruptured angle. Is that a count, boy? That's an 80. Okay. Alright, so it's definitely in this lab. I want to try and find like an ID card or summon. I think as long as we're on this level, where, whereabouts have we been? So. Huh? What was that? Here they come! Go, we didn't go. even get our hands dirty. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so we can speed run that. We don't need to go into the other place. We just gotta be careful of the guards. And we'll have to click. We don't have to click that console either, so we should be alright. Oh, wow, what? Oh, they're tra testing on sprats because sprats are supposedly very high resistance to testing and can be made uh, immune. Few notes. Alright. <gasps> Holy cow! Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Are they forcing you to poo? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll free you. Don't worry, baby. Office. Oh wait, we can do it this way and then 
Let the record show that. Right, we already watched, viewed that one, so I think this leads into the labs, right? Is it? Are they cloning? So that leads into just. Does that just lead into the big room then? Okay, so that's where we were. So we start. Oh, we started in here. Oh, maybe if we avoid that room. I'll keep it down. It's a shame there's no stealth takedown. Wait, is there something in there to look? I don't think so. We better get it out of here quick. Hmm? Something's not right. They're on us. I'm going to Okay, um, we definitely don't want to be spotted, so at least we know now. We definitely don't want to go that way. There's too many guards. Right? Yeah, so over there's... Although, they're going to be all in here, aren't they? I'll keep it down. That's the exit, right? That doesn't lead to our destination, though. No. Yeah, that leads over to the... I oh, know, but that leads that way, too. Let's see, is anybody here? That's a scientist. That's an elevator It leads down. Sorry, I was just having a bit of fun. Right. Oh, do I have to go really all the way back? Ah, I'll make it quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, we found out who murdered Elsie and Helen. Let the record show them. Could snipe them, right? Would that be enough to? Alright, second place. Let's try this place very quick. 
see if it leads anywhere. Where's this leading? Is this leading us to the objective, or is it just... Okay, this leads all, all the way out. Awesome. Okay, cool. We have a way out. So just remember this one, ladies. I'm going to be alright. Oh, but... No, I don't think we could have... I was just thinking if we could have gone through there, but no. Oh, is that barred? Oh, you mother trucker. So we have to go up from above. Alright. At least we know. We can't just jump over the freaking handlebars. Damn you, handlebars! I would shoot you if it wasn't for the fact that we're trying to be stealthy here. Is this... Wait, is that empty? It's empty! Yeah, huh? I thought they would have something to say. God damn. Yeah, we gotta find out what's going on. Transfer. View notes. Transfer. What? What's this? The sudden withdrawal from a slightly lethal will result in the of any progress in experiments. Likely the test subject will maintain leaving a... Oh. I'd kill him. Uh, experiment details. Um. Okay. We don't need that much. No. That should be enough, hopefully. Let's get out of here. I wasn't going to kill those guys just to, you know. This should be enough, hopefully. Goodbye! We did it. Well done, team. Right, let's get out of here before they notice that there we stole it. I know we didn't get the whole thing. I feel bad, but at the same time... I don't want it changing me into them. Like, even a little bit. Maybe just a bit. And then as soon as we can deal with the... Plus, I was trying to make sure that our, my stealth mission was su a success. So... All right. How does this sound? No, I don't care. Yay! If you don't mind my saying, you have a oh. message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. Oh, awesome. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. Oh, wait. Oh. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I have. Um, let's skip the pleasantries. Uh, I got your attention. You be stumbling around the colony, pretending to know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just getting started. I'm glad to hear that. This may come as a surprise, but I happen to enjoy your work. Oh? I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater. Barely worth the ink on a map. Oh. Until you showed up. 
You walked through Edgewater and in your wake transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. Haha. <laughs> I'm actually a little impressed. Yeah. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. Yeah, dude. I get it, you're well informed. Can we move along? You must sound like you approve. Not always. Mm. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. Whose side, exactly? You should be back on the Hope, frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. Hmm. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. Right. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do <sighs> in this company. What a... You wanted to talk to me, meet you, Arthur. I'm not sure I can trust you yet. How do you know I'm from the Hope? Yeah. You haven't exactly been keeping it a secret. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we raised security on the Hope after Wells broke in. As for discovering the identity of the missing colonist, all we had to do was scan the passenger manifest. Oh. Talk to me. Um... Are you sure you didn't bring all this way just to flat? I'm sure, yeah. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Uh-huh. You people need better security. Anybody could have been lifted those chemicals. How did you find my ship? Uh, yeah. I'm not here to talk about stolen chemicals. Uh -huh. I'm after something far more valuable. Yeah. Your cooperation. Uh-huh. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Are you kidding? Uh, the answer is no. We're done here, Ada. Uh, wanted for what exactly? All right, try and convince me. I say no more. I'm in. Uh, now nah, we're done. You are making a serious mistake. Cut her off, Ada. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Good. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's get out of here, Ada. Like I would betray Phineas. Oh yes, the whole point of me joining up with him. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. I wonder if they're tracking us now. That's the only fear, right? All right, let's go. Ow. All right, we're back, Phineas. After many, many days and many, many recording hours, we are back. Hello. Hello. I've kept myself busy in your absence. Optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. Nice. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Forget about the chemicals for a second. The colony's on the verge of collapse. I found your chemicals in the ministry. The board was testing them on human subjects. Human test subjects? Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. Precisely. All the subjects... These are all the chemicals I could get. Any more, I would have killed the subjects. That's not enough. Not nearly enough for the whole ship. I could revive a handful of settlers. Maybe, possibly, you know, ten. The colony's on the verge of collapse. The board's been trying to cover it up. I know. I've suspected as much for years. Of course, hmm. I don't expect the board to do a thing about it. They've been driving our colony to the brink of destruction for decades. Yeah, true. The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, Thousands of colonists are going to die. Yeah. It gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. The board's got a plan to save us. They're going to free... No! This one. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me see if I understand this correctly. Yeah, You're go on. saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? Yep. And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? Precisely. I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? Yep. That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For 
your oh, yeah. fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Indeed, Toss them yeah. Out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Oh! I didn't realize that. Um, well, yeah, that's bad. Um, what, what, what was it? Owie. Uh, what was it? Uh, there has to be something we can do. So that's it. We just give up. The trouble's gone through food for nothing. The colony's a mess. I'm glad to... Yeah. We need to think about this. There's got to be something we can do. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists. The mm. brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. True. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the Hope into a prison for the rest of us. Mm. They're likely on their way to the Hope as we speak. So We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the Hope. Hmm. There is a way. Not safe. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the hope into the system. Yeah. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! Yeah! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space. Right next to my lab. Precisely. And then they can't do anything. The hope's probably damaged. We'll have to root the power from the unreliable. Yes. Yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me. Ah, yes. I perceive the shape of your plan. Hmm. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can mm. skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Oh, yeah. Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. Mm. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope skip drive. Your ah. navigational computer can handle the rest. Mm. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy. Even Come on, Ellie. Your Where's your sense of correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. We're crazy. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then uh -huh. head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Uh huh. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. Yeah. I can start reviving them immediately. Awesome. I'll do it. Wait, I've got some questions. The plan is insane. I need some time to think it over. I'll do it. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Oh, why I believe yeah. the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us Ugh. believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. The board is missed. the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Yeah, understood. Thank you everybody for watching, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below and thank you for supporting me and making sure that we can hit this uh, new milestones together. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon.